Well, there was some study recently that uh, I was reading about where they were talking about how you can't be happy all the time and you don't want to be happy all the time. Like literally you won't achieve the same levels of happiness all the time if you're not miserable. Like you, you don't ever hit those highs unless you hit those lows. Like you ever been around someone who's manic? You ever date a chick who's manic? I know exactly what you're talking about. It's yeah. like the sweet is never as sweet without the bitter. And it's yeah. like, and I've found that, um, I actually have an interesting outlook on that because I bought pleasure for so long. You can't buy happiness. You can buy pleasure, though. You know, a lot of people say, like, oh, money isn't happiness. Well, money can buy a boat, and a boat will make me fucking happy, that kind of thing. <laughs> right? So um, an example I like to give is, you know, w when I was 16, like, my dream car was a, um, a Mustang Cobra, right? So if I got a Mustang Cobra, I, was, I would have been at a 10, right? Um, but... You know, a Ferrari would also bring me to a 10. I mean, but you can't go higher than a 10, right? So let's just say that I got, um, you know, uh, you know, the Ferrari when I was 16. And now we flash forward, I graduate college. And my dad gives me a, let's say he gives me a BMW M5. If I had the Ferrari, now I'm going to be kind of like probably at a 7, right? Because I'm stepping down in a car. But if I had the Mustang Cobra and now I'm going to an M5, I'm going to be back at a 10. Well, it's the same car. You're the same person. You're at the same spot in life. The only difference is your perspective because of your previous experience. Right. You know, so it's kind of like when, you know, people ask, like, why rich people aren't as happy. And I just think it's because they've upped the bar so far that only the, you know, best things satisfy them. Like a guy off the street, if I took, like, when I was, when I got out of boot camp, I'll use that as an example. I go to Outback Steakhouse, I'm in a tent, right? Now, if I go to the best restaurant in the fucking world, I mean, I'm like maybe at like a six or a seven. I'm just like satisfied. I got three chefs. Like I eat the best food all the time. You know what I mean? So like that doesn't make me happy anymore. Like if, if somebody bought me a Lamborghini, I'd be like, whatever. Like I've had them. I don't care. Like, but if you get, you know, give it to a guy off the street, he'd be at a 10. So I can't buy happiness anymore. You know what I mean? I, I bought every fucking thing that I ever wanted, right? There's not really anything that I want. So I can't buy any like pleasure. Um, and also if you gave me like a regular car or put me in a regular hotel, I would actually be at like below the normal level. Whereas a normal person would be like happy to be on a vacation. You know what I'm saying? So like, I think that has like some correlation. Like it's kind of like a guy that, that wins a lotto, like a year later, he is like, like statistically less happy than a guy that got his leg fucking amputated a year prior.